Hi, I'm Dexter Hardy, lead pastor at Life Point Church in Marietta, Georgia. With all that's going on in the world around us right now, one of the scriptures that has been a great source of encouragement for me is Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. And, and like me, I know most of us know that verse. We heard those verses before. But we're living in a time right now we actually got to really apply that and live that out. In Philippians chapter 4, the Apostle Paul says this. He says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. In the peace of God, which is able to surpass all understanding, was able to guard our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. And there's so much stuff going on right now that it's so easy to get anxious and you know, people are worried about whether they're going to have a job. Uh, people are, are worried about are they going to be infected with the coronavirus. So, we, you know, we worry about our parents that are older or we worry about our children. And there's so many things that's pulling at us. You know, we worry about can we even find any toilet paper. I was just in Publix the other day and it was in Sam's. Uh, couldn't find any toilet paper, paper towels. So there's so many things that's going on that if we're not careful, we'll find ourselves worrying but the Apostle Paul tells us, don't worry, don't be anxious, because we serve a Heavenly Father who loves us and he's able to provide for us. God is amazing. He's able to take care of us. And matter of fact, in the Gospel of Matthew, it says, what father, if his son wanted a, a fish, would give him a serpent, or wanted bread, would give him a stone? But it says, if you, being evil, know how to love and take care of your children, how much more Will your Heavenly Father take care of you? And so I don't want us to be anxious. So I just want to encourage you that we might just take it to the Lord and just let the Lord take care of it. I just want to pray for a few moments. So I'm asking you to just bow with me. We just spend these last few moments in prayer. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, I come before you today to thank you for this opportunity that we get to come before your presence, Lord. With everything that's going on around us, Lord, it can be so overwhelming and so challenging. But, Father, we look to you right now to be the source of our strength. And, dear God, I want to first of all pray for our, our political leaders and pray for our medical leaders, dear God, that you might give them wisdom and guide them, dear God, as they lead our country, Father. And, Lord, I want to pray for those that right now that have been infected by the coronavirus. I pray, dear God, that you might be a healer in their body, Father God. I pray that you might show forth mercy and grace on their life and bring them through this time of sickness, dear God. But, Father, also I want to pray for those who are isolated and alone, dear God, as they shelter in place still, dear Father. I pray, dear God, that you might be that friend that sticks closer than a brother. Father, I pray that you might manifest your presence in a very real way in their life, dear God. And Father, so many people that I've met and talked to and I hear the news reports that are struggling financially, dear God. Father, you're Jehovah Jireh, Lord, the God who provides. And so, Father, I'm asking that you would do something supernatural in each of those situations, dear God, to meet those financial burdens that these people are experiencing right now, dear God. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, we exalt you, dear God. And Father, I pray for our churches. Lord, I pray that you would just, by your spirit, lead us to be what you created us to be, a light, Lord. And Father, I pray, dear God, that we might, by your spirit, demonstrate the love of Christ in such a way that men would see our good works and glorify you in heaven, dear God. So Father God, help us to be everything you called us to be as the people of God, that we might love in such a way, dear God, that folks would be drawn to Christ because we're loving them like Christ loved them, Father. And Father God, we just want to commit ourselves to you. Help us not to worry. Help us not to stress. We just want to look to you right now. Have your way. And that somehow, Lord, you would get glory out of this. We pray this in your son Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. You all have a great day.